Hello, dear students. This is grade 11 mathematics lesson on unit 3, coordinate geometry. So today, we will focus on equation of circle. Okay. So, after revising this lesson, you are expected to write equation of a circle in standard form. And in addition to that, you are expected to write equation of tangent line to the circle. Now let's proceed to the lesson. Before directly proceeding to equation of a circle, first let's see the distance between a point and a line. The distance between a point P x0, y0 and the line L x plus P y plus C is equal to 0, where P x0, y0 is not on L is given by this equation. D is equal to AX0 plus BY0 plus C over the square root of A squared plus B squared. So simply, you multiply these coefficients A by X0, B by Y0, and you add constant C in absolute value. After that, the square root of these two coefficients squared, the sum of the square of these two coefficients. Okay. Now, let's see example for this. Find the distance between negative 3 comma 2 and the line 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0. So using the formula you can find the distance between this line and this point. So the distance will be given by absolute value of ax0 plus by0 plus c divided by the square root of a squared plus b squared. So this equal to, the equation must be written in this form. First, x, x plus by plus c. It's written in this form. So our a is this 3, our b is this 4, and our c is this negative 5. So in place of a, substitute 3, absolute value of 3 times x0, our x0 is minus 3, minus 3, plus b, our b is this 4, 4 times our y0, y0 is 2, plus c, our c is negative 5, minus 5, an absolute value, divided by the square root of a squared, our a is 3, 3 squared plus our b is 4, 4 squared. So this gives you 3 times negative 3, negative 9, plus 4 times 2 is 8, negative 9 plus 8 minus 1, minus 5, minus 6. Absolute value of minus 6 it is positive 6 divided by the square root of 3 squared plus 4 squared. 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 16 plus 9, 25, square root of 25 is 5. Therefore, this is the distance between the line 3x plus 4y minus 5 is equal to 0 and the point negative 3 comma 2. Let's see another example. Find the distance from the line y is equal to 2x minus 1 to the origin. Here, we are asked to find the distance between y is equal to 2x minus 1 and the origin. The point is 0, 0 here. So, to use the equation, I must write this in standard form. Therefore, here, this can be rewritten as, in this form, in standard form, 2x here, take y to the other side, it becomes minus y, and minus 1 is equal to 0. So, this expression is equivalently written in this form. First, x variable, y, and so on. So, since we use the formula ax plus by plus c is equal to 0, so I must write in that form. 
and we have the point this one. So now we can use the formula to find the distance between this and the origin. D is equal to absolute value of AX0 plus BY0 plus C divided by the square root of A squared plus B squared. Therefore, D is equal to absolute value of our A is the coefficient of X here, it is 2, times our X0 is the origin, it is 0. Our X0 is this one, and our Y0 is this one. Plus B, the coefficient of Y, it's minus 1. So minus 1 times Y0 is 0, plus C, C is this negative 1. divided by the square root of a, a is the coefficient of x, it is 2 to square root 4, plus b is minus 1, minus 1 squared is 1. So this is equal to this one, 0, 0, you have minus 1, absolute value of minus 1 is 1. So you have 1 over the square root of 4 plus 1 is this square root of 5. So, rationalizing this, you have the square root of 5 over 5. This is the distance between the line y equals 2 to x minus 1 and the origin. Okay, now let's continue. Circle. Question of circle. First, let's define what a circle is. Circle is, it is the locus of point that moves in a plane with a fixed distance from a fixed point. The fixed distance is called radius of the circle and the fixed point is called the center of a circle. Here you have to be careful the definition here it says circle is a set of points that moves in a plane. It must be in a plane. If it is in a space it becomes a sphere. So here the definition circle is it is the locus of a point that moves in a plane with a fixed distance from a fixed point and that fixed distance we call radius of the circle and the fixed point is, is the center of the circle. So now let's see the standard form of equation of a circle with center h comma k and radius r. Look if we have a circle and here it is center the center h comma k here is the center to write the equation of this circle in standard form take any arbitrary point on the circle let's say it is x comma y. So the distance between this arbitrary point and center always fixed is constant and that constant is radius. Therefore the equation will be the distance between these two points is given by using distance formula distance between two points x minus h the whole squared plus y minus k the whole square under the square root gives you the radius. It's a distance. The distance is radius. So squaring both sides, you will have this one. x minus h the whole squared plus y minus k the whole squared is equal to r squared. So this is this, the standard form of equation of a circle. So, the standard form of a circle with center h, k, radius r is given by x minus h, the whole squared, plus y minus k, the whole squared, is equal to radius squared. This is it. Now here, write the equation of a circle with center minus 2, 1 and radius 
3. So to write equation of this circle, we have the formula. So we can use this, you can apply this formula. To write equation of a circle always, we need to find the center and radius. But here, both the center and the radius are given. So solution will be, it is, the equation is this in this form, x minus h, the whole squared plus y minus k, the whole squared is equal to r squared. So, since we have center x minus h, our h or the coordinate, x coordinate of the center is minus 2, minus minus 2 becomes plus 2. x plus 2, the whole squared plus here y minus k, k is a coordinate of the center, y coordinate of center, it is 1. So, y minus 1 is this, y minus 1, the whole squared. This is equal to radius is 3, so square it, 3 squared. Therefore, the equation of the circle, uh, we center minus 2, comma, 1, and radius 3 is given by this equation. It is x plus the whole squared plus y minus 1, the whole squared is equal to 9. This is it. Now, let's continue to the other example. Here it says, write the equation of a circle with center 4, 3 and passes through the point 7, negative 2. In this question, we have a center, but we don't have radius. So to write the question, we need to have center and radius. So if you draw the circle, look, the center is given to be here 4 comma 3. We have 4 comma 3 and this circle, let's assume, it passes through the point 7 comma negative 1. So to write the equation, we have center, we need to find the radius, but simply as you can see here, the radius is the distance between these two points. So you can find the radius. Therefore, R, the radius, is equal to the distance between two points. It is the square root of 7 minus 4 squared. 7 minus 4 squared plus minus 1 minus 3. Minus 1 minus 3 squared. Therefore, this equal to T is the square root of 7 minus 4 is it is 3, 3 squared is 9, plus minus 1 minus 3, it is minus 4, when you square it, 16. So this is equal to the square root of 25. So the radius is 5. Once you have the radius center, so you can apply the formula and write the equation. So therefore, Therefore, the equation of the circle is the equation of the circle is it is x minus the center, x minus 4, the coordinate, x coordinate, the whole squared, plus y minus 3, the whole squared is equal to radius square. The radius we have formed, the radius is 5. When you square it, the answer will be this. 25. So this is the equation of a circle with center 4, 3 and passing through the point 7, negative 1. Now let's continue to the next example. Here it says give the center and radius of the circle x squared plus y squared minus 4x plus 6y is equal to 4. So to find the center in the radius of a circle, you, you need to write the equation in a standard form. For example, if you have equation of a circle in this form, x minus 2 the whole squared plus y plus 1 the whole squared is equal to 4. If you have this form, you can easily see the center in the radius. The center will be this, 
positive to a positive this one. You can take a positive of this one. The center, 2, comma, negative 1. Because, so when write the equation, x minus 2. Here, y minus minus 1 plus 1. So you can simply take the opposite of the coordinates here. Therefore, it is 2, comma, negative 1. And the radius is a square root, okay? The radius is a square root of this one, square root of 4. It is 2. So, I have to write this expression in this form to find center and radius. So, to write in standard form, we apply the completing the square method. So, here you have this one, x squared plus y squared minus minus 4x plus 6y plus 6y is equal to 4. We have this one. So let's rearrange this one in this form. We apply the completing the square method. The value of factors x together and the value of factors y together. So you have this one. x squared minus 4x plus y squared plus 6y is equal to 4. To write this in a square form, you add half of the middle term square. And to write this also in a power form or square form, you add half of 6 squared. The value added in this side must also be added on the other side. Therefore, here, this implies it's x squared minus 4x plus, let's add half of this term, negative 4 over 2 square. So this becomes written in a square form. Plus y squared plus 6y plus, let's add half of this middle term, squared. Therefore, here it is 6 over 2 squared is equal to 4 plus the value added on the left side. These two values must be added to the other side so that the equation will be the original equation or will not be changed. Therefore, you add negative 4 over 2 is this negative 2 squared 4. You add 4 and 6 over 2 is 3. 3 squared is 9. You add 9 here. Okay. Now, this implies, this means it is, it is a square of x minus this term, x minus this term, x minus 2. So, or x minus half of the middle term. Therefore, you have this one, x minus this term, x minus this term, it is 2, the whole squared. Plus, here also it is y plus this term, it is 3, it is y plus 3 the whole squared gives you 4 plus 4, it is 8. 8 plus 9 is 17. You have this one. So we have written the equation of a circle in this in standard form. So from this, you can easily see the center and the radius. Therefore, the center, the center of this circle is simply T S. Take the coordinate of here x and y, but taking their opposite. So the center is positive 2 and negative 3. And radius of the circle, the square root of 17. This is radius square. This one is radius square. So I can write this square root of 7 squared. Therefore, r is square root of 7. The radius is the square root of 17. OK, so uh, this will be the answer. Now let's proceed to the next example. Here it says, write equation of a circle whose endpoints of a diameter are 0, negative 2 and 2, 2. In this question, we don't have center and radius. To write equation of circle, we need to have center and radius. So, so from this, we need to find the center and radius of this circle. Look. The circle the endpoints of the diameter are given. 
it is 2 comma 2 comma 2 and 0 comma 2 roughly sketching 0 comma 2 I'm not simply considering the coordinate simply rough sketch assume this point the diameter pass the end points of diameter 1 is 2 comma 2 the other is 0 comma negative 2 so from this we can find the center since the midpoint of this the end point of the diameter is at center therefore we can find the coordinate of the center of this circle therefore center of this circle is a midpoint using the midpoint formula add x coordinate and divide by 2 so the x coordinate 0 plus 2 it is 0 plus 2 divided by 2 comma add negative 2 and 2 y coordinate to find the coordinate of y simply add the coordinate of y and divide by 2 minus 2 plus 2 minus 2 plus 2 divided by 2 so the center of the circle will be 0 plus 2 is 2 2 over 2 is 1 1 comma negative 2 plus 2 it is 0 0 over 2 is 0 the center is it is this one so the center is it is at 1 comma 0 once we have found the center we can easily see or we can easily find the radius either using the center in this point is a radius the distance between center and the one of the end point of the diameter or you can use the end points of the diameter to find the distance or the diameter after that you can divide by two for simplest for simplicity let you use a center and one end points of the diameter uh, so the radius will be it is the square root of the distance between the center and one of the end points so here you have this one square root of 2 minus 1 squared 2 minus 1 squared plus 2 minus 0 squared 2 minus 0 squared therefore this gives you r is equal to this the square root of 2 minus 1 is this 1 1 squared is 1 plus 2 minus 0 is 2 2 squared is 4 so the radius will be it is the square root of 5 so now we can write the equation of a circle once we have found the radius in the center so the equation of the circle therefore the equation of circle will be it is x minus center coordinate this is minus 1 the whole squared plus y minus 0 the whole squared is equal to radius squared squared of 5 squared so I can rewrite this in other form simply you can square this x squared minus 2x plus 1 this, this is this plus y squared this equal to this squared to 5 squared is this 5 therefore you have 5 here so taking one to the other side or taking five to this side you'll have this form you'll have this form x squared plus y squared minus 2x plus 1 minus 5 becomes minus 4 it equals to 0 so this will be the equation of the circle now let's proceed to the next example okay here another example it says write the equation of a circle with center 2 comma 5 and it is tangent to the line x minus y is equal to 1 in this question the center of a circle is given it is 2 comma 5 but we don't have radius so we need to find the radius so let's see the question let's draw it we have a circle here and the center of this circle is given to be this 
2, 5. And the equation of tangent line to this circle is given. The equation of this tangent line is x minus y is equal to 1. So, to write the equation of this circle, I need to find the radius. The radius is this one. It is the distance between this tangent line and this point. So, using the formula, the distance between a point and a line, we can determine the distance. This distance r. Therefore, but I need to rearrange this equation in standard form. So, you can write in this form, x minus y, take 1 to this side, minus 1 is equal to 0. So, after this, you can find the radius. r is equal to, using the formula, ax0 plus by0 plus c over the square root of a squared plus b squared. Therefore, r is equal to absolute value of our a here it is 1, the coefficient of x, 1, 1 times, 1 times x naught. Our x naught is the center, x coordinate 2, 1 times 2, plus b, our b is this, minus 1, is the coefficient of y, it's minus 1, times y naught is 5, plus c is minus 1, minus 1, in absolute value, divided by the square root of a squared, our a squared is, a is 1, 1 squared, 1 squared, 1 squared plus b is minus 1, coefficient of y, minus 1 squared, minus 1 squared. Therefore, r is equal to absolute value of these two is minus 5, minus 1 times 5. Here we have minus 1, minus 1 and minus 5, minus 6, minus 6 plus 2, minus 4. We have absolute value of negative 4 divided by the square root of 1 squared plus negative 1 squared, it is 2, square root of 2. So, you will have r is equal to absolute value of negative 4 is 4 divided by root 4 over root 2, 4 over root 2. Rationalizing this, you have 4 times root 2 over 2 by multiplying by root 2, 4 root 2 over 2. Simplifying this, you get 4 over 2 is 2, 2 root 2. So, the radius is this, 2 root 2. After this, we can write the equation, because we have center and radius. Therefore, the equation of the circle will be this, x minus 2, the whole squared, plus y minus 5, the whole squared is equal to 2 root 2 squared, radius squared. So, this is simply equal to this, x minus 2, the whole squared, plus y minus 5, the whole squared, this equals to 2 root 2 squared, it is 2 squared is 4, 4 times root 2 squared is 2, 4 times 2 is 8. Therefore, this will be the equation of the circle. Uh, we center 2,5 and tangent to the line x minus y is equal to 1. Now, let's pose it to example 6. Given the equation of a circle x plus 1, the whole squared plus y minus 1, the whole squared is equal to 13. Is a point on a circle, the question, if you yes, write the tangent line equation to circle passing through this point, 
So, first, let's check whether this point is on a circle or not. How do you check that? Now we have the circle. Circle, the center, is given to be this negative 1, comma 1. The center is this negative 1, comma 1. And the point is this minus 3, comma 4. So let's find the distance between these two. The radius of this circle is given. Its radius it is the square root of 13. The square root of this one. So let's check the distance between these two points. So the distance is equal to the square root of minus 3 minus minus 1. Minus 3 minus minus 1 becomes plus 1. The whole squared plus 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1. 4 minus 1. The whole squared. So this gives you this the square root of negative 3 plus 1 is minus 2. Square root becomes 4 plus 4 minus 1 is it is 3. 3 squared, 9. So this distance is square root of 13, which is the same as the radius here. It's equal to the radius. So this point is on the circle. This point is on a circle. So next to this, we have checked this one, the point P here. Therefore, P negative 3, comma 4 is on the circle. On the circle. Now, the second question here is, we are asked to find tangent line equation to the circle. So if yes, write tangent line equation to the circle passing through this point. So we are asked to find this tangent line equation. To write the equation of this tangent line, we have a point. This line passes through this point. So we need another point or the slope of this line. If we have, we can write the equation. Look. Here, this is the radius. The radius is perpendicular to tangent line. So we can have the slope of this uh, line passing through this radius. If you have the slope of a line passing through this or the radius, you will have the slope of this line since they are perpendicular. The slope of perpendicular line gives you minus 1. So let's find the slope of the line containing the radius. The slope of the line containing radius is, assume it is m, maybe m1. This is equal to, to find the slope, change in y over change in x. Therefore, 4 minus 1 4 minus 1 divided by negative 3 minus minus 1. Negative 3 minus minus 1 becomes plus 1. This is equal to 4 minus 1 is 3. Negative 3 plus 1 is minus 2. It is negative 3 over 2. This is the slope of a line containing the radius. So, the slope of tangent line is, it is the opposite reciprocal of this one. Therefore, therefore here, the slope of tangent line is, it is 2 over 3. It is 2 over 3. The opposite reciprocal of this one, since they are perpendicular, uh, the product gives you minus 1. Now we have a point and a slope. So we can write the equation. Take our three point in the line x comma y so the equation becomes take the slope y minus 4 divided by x minus minus 3 it is x plus 3 gives you the slope 2 over 3 
it gives you the slope 2 over 3. Therefore, you can rearrange or simplify this expression. So, this is the equation of tangent line uh, to the circle x plus 1 dual squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 13 at the point of tangency negative 3, 4. So, this is it. Okay. So, to summarize what we have seen today, the distance between the point P, X0, Y0, and the line AX plus BY plus C is equal to 0, where P, X0, Y0 is not on the line, is given by D is equal to absolute value of AX0 plus BY0 plus C over the square root of A squared plus B squared. And the standard form of equation of a circle with center H, comma, K and radius is given by x minus h the whole square plus y minus k the whole square is equal to r square. So please read examples on page 79 up to 83 and do exercise 3.3 .3 on page 84. So this is all about today's lecture. Until next lecture, goodbye.